Today, we are going to learn about the values of biodiversity. Ecosystem services can be classified into four types. The ground water, what is there? It acts as a sponge and it can absorb all the rain water. How exactly biodiversity is very valuable for us. For every ecosystem, there's a different environmental value. Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to session four on the chapter biodiversity and conservation. Today, we are going to learn about the values of biodiversity. Under this, the first topic what we have is the ecosystem services. What is ecosystem? We have already learnt about what is an ecosystem. How the organism is interacting with the surrounding is what we are studying in ecosystem. Ecosystem has got biotic components and abiotic components. So, how are these biotic and abiotic components of ecosystem very useful for us humans that we are going to study under ecosystem services. There are a lot of benefits which we are deriving from the ecosystem which we are going to study here. Okay, so ecosystem services can be classified into four types. The first one provisioning services, second one regulating services, the third one supporting services and the fourth one is the cultural services. So the services which we derive from ecosystem can be broadly classified into how many types? Four different types. What is it? Supporting, provisioning and regulating and cultural. So we learn each one of the services in detail. So the first one is the provisioning services. Provisioning services means it includes all the products that is the raw materials or the energy output what we are using from the ecosystem like food, water, medicines and other resources what we use. Okay. And also the biofuels and also they provide conditions for the resources to grow. That is in different ecosystem we have different types of food which can be grown which we are using. The ecosystem how it is providing us water. It is providing the place for our life as well. So it is providing supporting services as well. Anyway we will go to the next one that is the regulating services. What is the meaning of regulating services? Now if there is a forest, the forest will make sure that there is clean air for us. So the air pollutants can be reduced. Forest will also make sure that there is no soil erosion. Landslides can be controlled. Soil erosion can be controlled. Also we have enough groundwater table that is the groundwater what is there it acts as a sponge and it can absorb all the rain water and the groundwater table also is managed because of forest. So these are some of the services which is provided by the forest ecosystem. So such services the ecosystem is controlling several things for us humans we call that as regulating services so this includes the service which regulate the ecological balance for example terrestrial environs like forest purify and regulate the air quality it prevents soil erosion and controls the greenhouse gases biotic components such as Birds, rats, frogs act as natural controllers of the pest, okay? And also they can control diseases as well. So this is one of the example for regulating services. Next type of service of the ecosystem is the supporting service. So supporting service means the ecosystem is giving us place to live. It is providing the land, it is providing food, it is providing clean air, it's providing clean water. We are getting so many resources which we can use for our own benefits and such services we call them as supporting services. So you can see they provide habitat for different life forms, retain biodiversity, nutrient cycling and other services for supporting life on 
earth. So that is called as the supporting service. And the last service is the cultural services. That is, we have recreational activities. We have tourism spots which we can go. We can enjoy. We can utilize the ecosystem to even make money because tourism we know has a lot of economical benefits as well, isn't it? So, this includes tourism, provides recreational, aesthetic value and cultural and spiritual services as well. In most of the culture, we consider environment to be a sacred, isn't it? So, the trees, the banyan tree is sacred for us. So, there are so many elements which we are considering to be sacred as well. So, this is called as the cultural services. Okay, not only that, the caves and the other places like cultural and artistic purposes we are using. Okay, even a few of them are considered to be sacred as I told you. Moreover, ecosystem provides enormous economic benefits in, in the name of tourism as well. So, these are the services which is provided by ecosystem. Supporting, cultural service, provisioning service and also regulating services. Next is about the value of biodiversity. What exactly is the value that we have or what is the use of biodiversity for us? So, if you see the value of biodiversity, we have direct value and indirect value. Okay. Under direct value, we have consumptive use value and the productive use value. Under indirect value, we have social and cultural values, ethical values, aesthetic values and environmental service values. So, how exactly biodiversity is very valuable for us? We have some of the uses which are direct, some of the uses which are indirect and we will learn each one of them in detail. First, we look into the environmental value. The environmental value of biodiversity can be found by examining each ecosystem process and identifying the ecosystem services that we can get. Okay. So, what is it? Environmental values. For every ecosystem, there is a different environmental value which we can evaluate and see. For example, as I told you, forest ecosystem. Forest ecosystem provides or the forest acts as a sponge for water. It holds up the soil so that there is soil erosion is reduced. It will absorb all the air pollutants. Also, the greenhouse gases are reduced. So, we have so many environmental benefits from what? Forest ecosystem. Similarly, if we have wetlands, wetlands means uh, the paddy field, if you can take, that is a wetland where there is a lot of water content which is there, okay? That's just an example. So, wetlands, the vegetation captures water, carries sediment and the soil organism break down the range of nutrients or the pollutants which is washed off to that area. That means, in the wetlands, okay, there's a lot of water which is flowing from different places and also we are adding a lot of fertilizers and the pesticides. So, whatever pollutants goes and reaches the wetlands, the soil organisms what is there, they will try to break that and the pollutants will be broken in such a way that it is no more harmful for us. Okay, so that is one of the environmental values. Similarly, these wetlands provide you know, service of purifying water, okay, and also spawning and nursery ground for some of the fishes and provide refuge for animals in the time of drought as well. So, this is the environmental value of wetlands and I also explained to you environmental value of even forest, isn't it? So, that's about the environmental values. Next is about the social values. Social and cultural values. What is that we have under social and cultural values if you see? The social value of biodiversity include aesthetic, recreational, cultural and spiritual value. As I told you, banyan tree is considered to be sacred, isn't it? That is because or that is enhancing our cultural value. Correct? It's very important for us, but that one tree is providing 
homes for many birds many animals it's providing you know uh, fresh air for us the pollutants are reduced so there are so many things which is linked with one another but as trees or air and you know water is con as much as we consider it to be sacred we'll try to conserve them as well as we'll have to try to pollute them lesser and lesser as well okay so social values what do they include aesthetic recreational cultural and spiritual value to this we can be adding even health benefits resulting from recreational and the other activities what is the health benefit we have when we are using these ecosystem or the environment or the biodiversity as you know recreational spots okay then while traditional society which has a small population and requires less resources had preserved their biodiversity as life supporting resources modern man that is us we have been depleting these resources to such a extent that the extent what we have spoiled them or we have used them that loss cannot be regained at all to that extent we are using the biodiversity we there are so many plants there are so many animals which are already extinct isn't it that is because we have been exploiting the biodiversity which we have around us okay so we need to consider them to be sacred and we also need to conserve them for our future generation as well okay so next value is the economic value now considering the economic value what is that economic value which we have for our biodiversity how is biodiversity an economic value for us first of all we get fossil fuels and wood which is used as fuel from the environment around us that is we are using them for our own use like for example wood is used as timber that is economic value fossil fuels which has come even that has got economic value isn't it so that is the first thing next is it is a source of food for all the humans as well as animals so we are getting all the food from our environment or the ecosystem around us correct and the next is many important chemicals are the origin of flora and fauna for example chemicals if i have to tell medicines what is there we have been deriving the medicines from a very long time from plants and that has economic value don't you all agree with me so that is also the third point for the economic value and diverse group of animals are used for medical research during the testing of new drugs so we are using maybe mice or monkey for testing our new drugs which we have derived or which we have prepared so all of you know such places we are using our biodiversity or this is how biodiversity has got economic value for us next is about the consumptive value okay consumptive value when it comes we are using at least 40000 species of plants and animals on daily basis we humans are using how many species 40000 species of plants and animals on daily basis that is the level of consumption that we have or we are using our biodiversity for our own benefit okay so it is related to the natural products that we have directly using as food fodder timber fuel wood or the wood for fuel etc and also many people around the world still depend on wild species of most of their needs like food shelter clothing the tribal people are completely dependent on the forest for their daily needs as well so still we have tribal people or the rural people who are completely dependent on the forest for their daily needs as well so that is the consumptive value of biodiversity which we have next is the productive value when it comes to productive value these are the products which we have been deriving from biodiversity and we are marketing them for economic value as well biotechnologists 
they have the original species of few of the plants or crops which is there and on daily basis there's a lot of research which is going on where we can derive a crop plant which is disease or uh, you know resistant to diseases or disease free i can tell and also they can give a lot of yield in a very short time as well so continuous research has been done but originally the stock which we use for these researches are from the original species which is there that is nothing but our biodiversity species which we are using for the productive uses that is to produce lot and lot of crops or to produce medicines which we produce and then we can market for our own benefit okay next is the ethical and moral values the basic principle for ethical and moral values is live and let live we humans are a very small part of the number of species which is there on the earth am i right we are very very small part there are so many millions of species which is existing in earth and all of them all the plants all the animals have a right to live in earth and we do not get any right to destroy them so we are learning some ethical values from our environment that is we have to live and we have to let others live as well we do not have any rights to destroy any plant or animals but of course we humans have been exploiting the environment as well as the biodiversity around us and there are so many plants and animals which are already extinct this loss cannot be retrieved again but then we can create awareness with the others that is through awareness classes how we can save ourselves by saving the environment this is the moral value which has to reach every human being so that we stop polluting the environment around us and also we stop exploiting all the resources which is available for us so we are going to learn some ethical and moral values also from biodiversity the last is the aesthetic value what is aesthetic value the beauty of our planet is what we call it as the aesthetic value our planet is really very beautiful because of the biodiversity which we have we have variety of species of animals plants which is there uh, some are there only in specific region some are there common around the world so everywhere there is a difference from one region to another and we humans enjoy this aesthetic beauty or this aesthetic value adds up when we are going for tourism we can go to different places we can enjoy the beauty of the nature we can also you know see different species of plants and animals different climatic conditions are there because of the biodiversity which is there on planet earth and tourism without disturbing the animals as well as plants in that particular region we call them as ecotourism which is becoming very common now and it is also one of the economic value for many countries isn't it so we know we have to save ourselves by saving mother earth and also we can do that by saving the biodiversity around us so that the aesthetic value of our planet will live long isn't it so these are some of the values of biodiversity thank you my dear children i hope you have understood today's class stay tuned for more updates